Well, every snooker player aspires to be part of the glitz and the glamour of the crucible, but the journey starts just a couple of miles down the road here at the English Institute of Sport, where Q School is being played out this week. By the end of it, 12 amateurs will become professionals. In Q School, the players are playing to, let's say, become professional players or get back on to the tour as a professional player. Whereas a normal tour event, they already are professionals. So they're, they're a bit more settled. And obviously there's so much at stake now at this event to become a professional. It's such a cutthroat process because we have so many entries, but there are only 12 places available on the main tour. So everyone is competing as hard as they possibly can to get there. This is a, a huge dream, you know, I potted, the, I potted the final pink match ball and just welled up a little bit really. You, know, I, I was, you always like dream about what it's going to be like to turn pro for the first time and I certainly did a few days before, um, like leading up to it and I thought I'd be fist pumping and jumping up and down and going nuts but you just exhausted. It was 2.30 in the morning and I was so tired and I potted the pink and I just turned around and put my head in my hands and nearly cried because it's just overwhelming release of emotions and dreams and uh, and I'm still tired now. I've had two hours sleep so I'm surprised my English is okay. But when players come off at the end of the match having won or lost it can often be very easy to tell what, which ha has happened or what the result has been. Um, emotions are very high because there is so much at stake for them um, and yeah it's there's a, the smiles of joy and delight and tears because people have put so much effort into it and as we, we know it's such an emotional game.